everybody, my name is Barrett, I'm a junior, and welcome to the University of Washington. We're on a part of campus known as the Liberal Arts Quadrangle, but us students, we just call it the Quad. And it is the best time of year to be on the Quad because these are the two weeks where our beautiful Yoshino cherry blossom trees are in bloom. For just about two weeks every year, they bloom magnificently and people come from all over the world to see these trees. Now it's hard to believe, but the Quad actually hasn't always had these trees on them. In fact, for the first 70 years of their existence, this Quad was in fact pretty barren. Uh, but that all changed in 1965 with the building of the 520 Bridge. These trees were planted in 1939 down at the Washington Park Arboretum, which was right in the way of where the 520 Bridge was going to go. So when they built it, thanks to some quick thinking of the University of Washington, we transplanted all 31 of those Yoshino cherry blossom trees here successfully. Uh, and they have become a staple of the University of Washington campus. People come from all over the world to see them. Uh, they have been growing ever since, uh, but they were moved here in 1895, and now people love them. People come from all over the world to take pictures, and in fact, I think that just by being a UW student, I have been in probably five or six sets of wedding photos because this is the place to take those pictures. Now, if you're on the quad on a sunny day like today when the cherry blossoms in are in bloom and students are throwing frisbees or walking their dogs or just hanging out with their friends, this is the place to be and it is hard not to fall in love with the University of Washington. Personally, I have a lot of really great experiences here. Time spent on the quads with my friend after dark, uh, time just hanging out, throwing the frisbee. I really do love being here. And my grandma, in fact, was on the quad when they moved the trees in back in 1965. Apparently, the trees 60 years ago had root balls of about 10 feet large. Now, I don't know how big they are today, but I imagine they're a little bit bigger than 10 feet around. And this is the place to see them. Take a look around. This is really a breathtaking view. As you can tell, this is the place to be, especially during this time. Now a cell phone video like this one doesn't quite do the majesty of the quad justice and you really need to see it in place. And there's kind of an unspoken rule at the University of Washington, but you shouldn't really graduate without many, many pictures in front of the quad. I have all my pictures in front of, or in front of the quad, in front of the cherry trees, excuse me. I have all my pictures in front of the cherry trees and hopefully future Huskies, you'll have some photos in front of the cherry trees too. We're really lucky the sun came out today because it does highlight just how beautiful these trees are. They bloom for just about two weeks every year. Uh, and if you would like to keep track of when these trees are in bloom, you can follow us on Twitter, at UW Cherry Blossom, and you can actually get a little taste of the environment and the personality of the trees themselves. Take one last look around because this is the place to be. And thank you so much for coming on this tour of our quad with me. Thank you also for being a part of our, uh, our inaugural Periscope broadcast. But most importantly, go dogs.